Fam's I Clay kicks back again with a brand new video. And if you guys are new to the channel, strolling by and have yet to subscribe, please make sure you smash and subscribe button. Hit that like button if you enjoy the content you are seeing. Enough talking, let's get into the review. What's good, sneaker fans? I collect kicks back again with a brand new video, and today we have a new addition to the real versus fake series. This time we have the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Royal Suede. These have yet to release, so we're going to give you an early comparison of real versus fake. As you guys know, we like to start with the packaging. The packaging reveals a lot of easy red flags where you don't even have to look at the sneakers themselves. But I want to give a huge shout out to the homie Bankkicks underscore 420 for allowing me to review his authentic pair and compare it with the fake pair to help educate you guys and make sure you don't get scammed. So salutes to Bang Kicks. but let's start with the top of the box so this is the authentic pair which is the size 12 the replica is the size 11 and if you guys look at the color of blue you can see the difference in shade you can see that it is a lighter royal on the authentic compared to the darker one on the replica also if you guys feel the material kind of this glossy feel on this top right here on the nike design you can really feel it on the authentic but it's a definitely a different type of gloss on the replica you won't feel it as much it's not as kind of sticky as the authentic one right here so there's a difference in the texture and the shade of color as well but this is a good replica because it actually has an rfid chip so we're going to compare those chips and see the differences between them as well but let's check out inside the box top, see if we see any differences. Here's the authentic. Here is the rep. So you can see the authentic one has the little stamp right there with the swoosh. Not every pair is going to have that. Here is the stamp with the numbers. This is the replica. It does not have the stamp of the swoosh. It does have the stamp of the numbers. So we can compare that so you guys can see kind of a difference right there. You can see the inside color of the box is different. It's much darker on this replica compared to the lighter color on the authentic. So now looking inside the box, this is the fake one. This is the authentic. Let me take this paper out right here. But you guys can see the big difference in color of the boxes. You can see the authentic, again, is a much lighter color than the replica right here. Also, if you guys look at the YCM sticker, you can see the lines going through it on the authentic. See that? Now, if you look at the replica, you will not see any lines at all. That's an easy red flag. You don't see that. It's automatically a fake pair. Now, the authentic came with the tissue paper, but it also came with tissue paper covering the Jordan 1s. The replica came with just one piece of paper, just a regular kind of cover of the shoe. So um, that's a big difference right there. You can see the texture of the paper as well. It is different. This is more of a clear white. This has kind of a beige look to it. This is much lighter as well. This one's a little bit heavier. But that's another little red flag that I saw. So this actually comes with extra paper to cover the Jordans themselves. And the kind of the wrapping paper over it. Whereas the replica only came with the paper to cover both shoes. It didn't come with the extra paper to cover them individually. Um, another thing you want to look at is the box label. So you guys make sure the details on the box are correct. Make sure the color code right here matches up. Just put it in Google. Also, you want to make sure you can see that RFID chip behind this label, which you can. But check this out. 
it's rare to find replicas that actually have these chips. So if you look right behind it, you can see it has an RFID chip. So we're going to peel this back and see what kind of design this has compared to the authentic. So before we get into the chip, I just want to show you the fonts is different from each other as well. The authentic is a size 12. The replica is a size 11. All right. You can see the fonts are totally different from each other. So that's another thing to look at. So we peeled back both chips. This is the replica. You can see it has no serial numbers at all. It's just a plain chip. This is what an authentic one looks like. So we peel the back, see the serial numbers, see the difference in design. So if you guys look at this, compared to that right there, just look at the difference in design and the serial numbers. So that's a way to tell whether your pair is fake or not. All authentic pairs from 2019 till now have these RFID chips with serial numbers. It lets you know what factory it came from and all that good stuff. This right here, there's no serial numbers at all. It's just a basic chip. Chips are expensive for these replica factories to duplicate. So you're not going to see this on every single rep that you buy. It's very rare. I've seen hundreds of fakes and I've only seen this a couple of times. So this is something to definitely look out for. So both pairs come with an extra pair of laces and Jordan Brand has done these nice little boxes. So we're gonna compare them. You can see that the authentic one is a little bit darker than the rep. You can also see the difference in kind of the embossed work on it. So if you turn it around, look how defined the text is compared to the authentic one right here. And you can look at the bottom as well. So the reps always try to make it too perfect. And that's always kind of the easy tell right there. And also the difference in color of the box. It's much darker on the authentic compared to the replica. So that's something to look out for. So here are the shoes side by side. This is the authentic pair. This is the replica. And if you guys look at the colors, you guys can see a difference in shades. So if you look at the toe box, you can see that royal color is much lighter on the authentic compared to the darker color on the replica. Also, if you look at the black suede right here at the toe, you can see it's a much more vibrant, darker black than the one on the replica, which kind of looks like a gray, kind of looks faded. So that's an easy tell right here, just looking at them from this angle. So that's something to always look out for. So the next thing we're looking at is the tongue tag. So this is the authentic right here, and this is the replica. So if you guys look closely, the replica actually has a shorter tongue tag compared to the bigger one on the authentic. So that's something to compare. You can see the difference in sizing right there. So that's something to always look out for. So here is a side angle of both shoes, authentic, replica, Again, you can see the difference in shade of color. You can see it's much lighter on the authentic compared to the replica, which is a couple of shades darker. Also, if you guys look at the wing logo, and you'll see the difference on the authentics from the replicas. The replicas always have this issue, but if you guys look at the Air Jordan right here on this underlayer, you can see Kind of that line that's under that text, it's black, right? See that right there? Now, if you look at the replica, for some reason, they never paint it. So instead of that black line going under, it's just that blue suede. So it's like they forget to do that sometimes. And that's an easy way to tell. Also, the text is a little bit different from each other as well. Not sure if you guys can really see from this angle, but you guys can see the difference uh, if you have them in hand. Not sure if the camera's picking it up. Here is a back angle of both pairs. This is the authentic, which is a size 12. This is the replica, which is a size 11. The replica looks much bigger than the size 12. So that's crazy right there. 
you guys again can see the difference in shade of color you can see the cut is different this is the authentic look how clean it is and look at the replica kind of droops down and goes from thin layer right here to kind of thick layer so it's uneven whereas the authentic it is even so that's something to look at as well also you can see the difference in shape so the reps tend to go straight down no coca-cola shape they are fixing it this looks a little bit better than we're normally seeing where it just goes straight down they're trying to create that curve but it's a little too thin on the bottom on authentic pairs you will see a wider bottom you can see that kind of little pinch right here where you don't really see that on the replica it kind of just goes straight down no curve and you can see it's much thinner at the bottom than it is compared to the authentic outsoles are pretty much identical it might be a shade or two off but it's very hard to tell even when they're next to each other next we want to check out the size tag so this is the authentic pair and you can see that material is covering that jump man you could barely see his little legs now if you look at the replica this is something you'll always see on the reps you can see basically the full jump man right there the material does not cover the size tag you can see the factory you can see the size clearly and that's another easy way to see the difference between the replica and the authentic now we're going to check the inner guts let's start with the authentic pair this is what the inside looks like let's check out the replica let's have them side by side so you guys can see the difference see that right there big difference on the insides look at the stitch work so if you guys look at the authentic you do have stitching right there and it's white see that right there now if we look at the replica you could clearly see there's blue stitching all around and you don't see that on the authentic so that's something to look out for here are the insoles and you want to look at the logos so this is the rep up top bottom is the authentic you can see the placement in the look of the logo on the authentic is much better than the replica also you can see the difference in color when it comes to the insoles the darker black on the rep it's more furry as well i don't know if you guys can see that on camera compared to the authentic but this one is also more flimsy so i can easily fold this this one's more sturdier it's a little harder it's not as flimsy like this you can see the difference if you flip it back let's look at the text so you can see the reps has dream cell the authentic does not so it looks like they switched on this release from dream cell uh insoles so the replica is a little bit behind you can see the difference in the text as well so look at that also the 12 actually has a 12 on it the rep does not but that's something that may vary okay let's see if there's anything right here usually there's text there's nothing on the authentic but on the replica you'll see the dsc but it's because it's a dream cell and the authentic is not but this one is way more flimsier than the authentic one so that's something to look out for. I hope this video helps you guys. It will be hard to compare these because they are very similar. The Jordan 1 is a shoe that replica factories have been perfecting for over 20 years. This is the best silhouette that they can make. So it will be difficult to compare them if you don't have an authentic pair in hand and if you've never seen a replica. But... 
the little details that I showed you can help you spot the fake. So please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you thought about this video down below. And again, shout out to the homie Banecakes underscore 420. If you guys have any questions at all, hit me up on Instagram. Make sure to hit that follow button on Instagram as well if you want to know more details on the shoes you saw in this video. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace!